Hi, I'm Dean Teagarden with Wiggle Fin Tackle. I'm going to show you guys how to set up your trout fly trolling rigs with action discs and give you some idea of uh, some of the other little intricacies for rigging this kind of uh, setup. Here's a rule of thumb that you can use when selecting the disc for the flies that you want to fish with. Uh, the size one action disc is roughly the diameter of a nickel. Um, it runs flies up to about mm, three inches long. The size two disc is uh, bigger than a little bit bigger than a quarter. Um, it'll run uh, flies up to six inches in length. And this number three disc is the size of a diameter of a ping pong ball. And it's for some pretty big flies, musky flies and lake trout flies. So I'm going to show you how to rig the Arctic Fox tube flies that we have on our website. Pull off uh, 36 inches of leader material. Um, I use uh, 8 to 12 pound monofilament for all my trout rigs. Um, I do not recommend using fluorocarbon. Uh, fluorocarbon, uh, though it's very strong and uh, thin diameter, um, it has a property that's much like a, a coat hanger when it's bent back and forth repeatedly. Um, it has a tendency to fail and, and break off rigs. Uh, the XL, the, the soft monofilaments, uh, are, are my preference for use with the disc since the line is going to be moving back and forth. And uh, I, I like the uh, Berkeley's XL. Um, and I also like uh, Yozuri's hybrid uh, line. It's a very excellent line for, uh, for this purpose. So I start with uh, 36 inches of leader. Um, cut it off and uh, just tie an overhand knot, an overhand loop in one end. Um, I do a double... Uh, pass through on mine so it's similar to a, a surgeon's knot. And pull it up and clip off the tag. So you've got a, uh, just a loop in one end for your leader, and then we'll add the disc and the rest of the components to the, to the other end. Uh, this is a two and a half inch uh, Arctic Fox fly. Uh, the material itself is super flexible, um, really buggy in the water, and much more durable than marabou, which is a, a standard uh, material for, for uh, streamer patterns. This is just so much tougher. It just won't rip, and marabou just rips right off. So... Um, these flies are designed to last a long time. The rigging is really simple. Um, you take the end of your leader. Um, first you put on the disc, slide the action disc on with the face of the disc uh, going toward the, the, your rod tip. Next, you thread the tube fly on, run the leader all the way through it, and you can slide it up the leader. And then for a standard basic uh, setup, all you do is tie on your uh, hook, and there's the basic setup for tube fly trolling rig. Um, the disc slides all the way down to the, the front of the fly, and this gives it a pretty tight swimming action in the water. It, it's a uh, um, very tight, quick movement. The other way that we set this up, which I'll show you next, by spacing the disc up the, up the leader, it allows the fly to move much more laterally and vertically. 
um, and opens up the swimming pattern for it. It gives it a much more of a wide wobbling type of uh, action. So now I'm going to run you through the same process that we did before, uh, but I'm going to use a larger size 2 disc and we're going to add a slide lock bead so that we can uh, adjust the action that the disc provides to the fly. So we start out with the disc we did before. Again, the open face of the disc goes toward your rod tip. Um, and in this case, before we put the fly on, we're gonna add the slide lock bead Align the slide lock bead in the plier so the slit in the bead is vertical. Compress the bead to open up the slit and then run your leader through it. Then the tube fly goes on. And you tie on the hook just just like we did last time. And we'll cut that off with a pair of clippers. And now, to adjust the rig, I'm going to release the... Always, always release the, the uh, excuse me, the stopper bead with a pair of pliers before you slide it up and down the leader or it'll burn, it can burn the leader. So I'm gonna put that about two inches away from the fly. And now your disc your disc is spaced away about two inches away from the fly. This opens up the uh, the ability for the fly to move back and forth um, and completely changes the action um, that you get out of the, the disc with the fly. Slide a one quarter to three quarter ounce egg sinker on your main line. Tie on a good quality ball bearing swivel and snap. I generally fish 75 to 100 feet behind the boat uh, at a speed between uh, a one mile an hour and two miles an hour. Here, I'll let you grab him though. That's a dandy. Not quite four, but he's close, huh? Wow. Somewhere in there. <laughs> Good job. Beautiful fish. <laughs>